Hello, so today I just want to do a video answering a question that I get asked all the time, which is how do you use up your body care so fast? So I'm just going to take you through a day of using my body care. This is how I do it. You don't have to do it that way, but I do it like this pretty much every day and I have for a couple years because I'm trying to really get through my stuff. Like if you're like me and you have a ton of stuff, like I feel the need to get through it. So I've been working at it. And so here we go. So my scent of the day is going to be Ice Lemon Pound Cake and Italian Cello by Okja, which is their dupe for Lyra by Zhirzhov. This is the second day of using this set. I do change up my perfume every day that I pair with it, but I continue to use my body care set until it's gone. And that is one of the biggest things that you can do to use up your stuff. If you focus on one set, it'll go a lot faster than if you jump around. Like I don't want to jump around because then I would never finish anything because I have so many sets of body care. So this is how I do it. I just focus on it and get through it. And by changing the perfume, like it changes the scent. So it's not like I get really bored of it or anything like that. I mean, there are some scents that I'm like, when I'm done, I'm done. And I'm glad that I'm done. But for the most part, I enjoy a lot of my scents. So I don't feel that way about them. Okay, so during the week, I get up really early. I get up at like 4 a.m. I get my husband out the door, make him lunch, make him breakfast and coffee and get him out the door for work. And then... I get ready for work around five. So that's what time it is when I'm getting ready. My first step is that I spray my whole body neck down with my body spray. I don't count sprays. I have no idea. I know that my body is like soaked, but I, you know, I measure with my heart and my nose because like if something is super strong, then I don't spray as much, but like ice lemon pound cake, pretty light scent. So I can overspray it. And you kind of have to overspray. Like these aren't perfumes because if they were, you definitely wouldn't get eight ounces of them for under $20. So after I apply my body spray, I go ahead and apply a layer of perfume. I only apply my perfume like on the top of my body, like arms, chest, that area. Like I don't spray it on my legs or anything like that. Next, I use my body lotion and I apply that, you know, from the neck down. And that's my first layer. After that, I go ahead and I get dressed and I reapply my body spray. I apply it basically from the neck down. So just as many sprays as I did before sometimes, just depends. And then I reapply my perfume on top of my clothes, just on the top part of my body. So this is a picture of what it looks like after I've done my morning application. My morning application is always my biggest. I do take my body mist with me to my desk at work. I work from home, so I don't have to worry about offending anybody. And I do reapply it during the day because body mints don't last that long. And I do work a 10 hour day. So I just reapply it a few times during the day. I don't like go as heavy as I do during the morning application, but I do respray it so that I can smell it and so other people can smell it. I guess those other people would just be my family <laughs> essentially, but you know, I need to smell good just in case, you never know. I don't reapply my perfume throughout the day, so I only apply that in the mornings. My last step in the morning is putting body butter and body lotion on my feet. So if I just use body lotion, it's not moisturizing enough for my feet. I've always had dry feet. I have to put a lot of lotion on them or they get like rough and I don't like that. So we definitely moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. So I use my body lotion first, kind of let that soak in. And then I follow up with body butter. Right now I'm using the Brazil nut body butter from Trader Joe's. Absolutely love it. And then I put on my socks. So that is all that I do in the mornings. Next up, it's shower time. So I usually take my shower in the early evening, like around 6, 6.30 p.m. It's usually after I get, get off work at 5. I make dinner, we have dinner. And then after that, I usually take my shower because that's like my me time, my unwind time. I always joke and tell my husband that's the only time that nobody needs me. Like that's my time in the shower. So my first step in the shower is I always use bar soap. I like to use bar soap because I feel like it makes me feel the cleanest and it definitely gets off the lotion and the perfume that I had put on in the morning. So then I'm starting my shower off already with a clean slate and I like that. Next up, I use a lip scrub. I might not always do this step, but I do it 
maybe five out of seven days. So I do it quite a bit. And this is the easiest way for me to use these up because I have a ton of these from Bath and Body Works that I need to use. And I like using them in the shower because I can wash them off right afterwards. Next up is washing my face. So I'm not like a skincare guru or anything, but the greatest advice I can give you is wash your face. Be consistent. Do not sleep in your makeup. Every night I wash my face. I don't care how tired I am. I wash my face. And I have done that since I was in high school. And I have pretty nice skin because of it. But if I don't do this, my skin will like turn on me. It, <laughs> it happens real quick. So I am definitely a stickler for washing my face. The soap on the left I use, it basically just takes off my makeup. And then the soap on the right I use to, you know, help prevent breakouts. My next step is shower gel. So I'm not super picky about my shower gels. I don't try to match them with my body care. Like I don't think that the scent really lingers on my body so it doesn't really matter. And so I just kind of grab one and use it because I have a whole shelf full of them and I'm just trying to get through them. Like they're not my favorite formula. I don't plan on buying any more of them. I think I bought two this year, but I don't really buy them anymore. I just really want to work through the ones that I have. I like to use a silicone scrub brush, so I will coat the whole entire top of it with shower gel. So this ensures that I get great lather from top to bottom. I don't know if you've ever used like a loofah or a washcloth and you're like, you know, washing and then you get to like the bottom of your legs and you don't have any like lather left and I don't want to have to reapply. So I just like, I want my legs to get the same luxury that my arms get. So this ensures that that happens. This picture just shows how much I use with each use. So this was a full bottle at the beginning and you can see it has quite a bit of a dent in it. Like you can't just put a drop on and use it because otherwise you will be using this bottle forever. So go heavy, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Depending on the formula, I can get five to seven days used out of a bottle of shower gel. So the older ones tend to be thicker and I feel like they take me longer to use, but like the newer ones are a whole lot thinner so I can get like maybe five days out of those. So after I've washed my hair, I'll put conditioner in my hair and while it sits in my hair, I will use a scrub. Right now I'm using the Tree Hut Vanilla Scrub. I love Tree Hut Scrubs. I can use them every day. I know some people's skin can't handle it. Mine doesn't have a problem with it. When I used to have Bath & Body Works scrubs, I would alternate them. So like one day I'd use Tree Hut, one day I'd use Bath & Body Works because theirs aren't as abrasive. But I ran out of Bath & Body Works scrubs a few months ago. So now I've been just using my Tree Hut ones, which is fine. I just, I might skip a day or two here and there. And it's not because my skin is irritated, it's maybe because I don't want to use it every single day. I mean, sometimes I just want to take a quicker shower, you know? So my last step in the shower is I use a moisturizing body wash. I use my silicone scrub brush again and I wash my whole body. This makes sure they get all like the scrubbies off from the scrub. And also I just like to finish my shower with this because I do feel like the shower gels from Bath & Body Works are kind of drying and so like the moisture from this makes my skin feel really really nice before I get out. I also have a back brush and I use that to wash off like the conditioner maybe that's on my back from my hair and that is my last step. So next I get out of the shower and I reapply my body care. I will say that I only have like four or five moisturizing body washes left in my collection. I'm not sure if I will buy more. I mean, maybe if they have a good sale. I do really enjoy this formula, but I don't want to pay like the buy three, get three price for them because the prices on them are crazy expensive now. They're like almost $20. That's way too much for this. So if I do run out of these, I'll just move my shower gel step to the end. In case you're curious about the amounts that I use, I did try to take some pictures. They're not the greatest because it was getting steamy in there. But this is how much moisturizing body wash I use on my silicone scrub brush. And then this is how much I use on my back brush. So after I get out of the shower, it's time for me to reapply my body care. So I don't always use my fragrance mist after I get out of the shower. And if I do, I only use it on my skin. I don't spray it on my pajamas. It just depends on the scent. Like if it's a more of a perfumey scent, then I don't like to wear it to bed. I think that the lotion is strong enough. But this one, I did spray a little bit because when I swim, pound cake smells amazing. And I wouldn't mind smelling it while I sleep. So if you're curious about how much product I use, 
this is how much I use on each leg. Like after my hot shower, my skin just loves lotion. Like it just sucks it right up. It's great. And if there's ever any excess, then I will just use that on like my back or my stomach. It all gets used. So this is about how much I use on each arm. And if there's ever any excess, like I said before, we always find a place for it. And this is how much I use on my feet. So this will cover both feet. The body butter is on the tip of my finger and the lotion portion is in the palm of my hand. I will go ahead and reapply the same amount to my feet right before I go to bed so that it can soak in while I'm sleeping. Like I told you, my feet need lots of moisture. So we moisturize three times a day. Okay, so here is my body care after a full day use. You can see I used a whole bunch of spray today. My lotion is about two thirds gone. I will definitely finish this set up tomorrow and I will be on to the next. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit about how I use my products. You can see there's like no like top secret way. I don't have any like crazy tricks. Like I'm just really consistent with my products and I make a conscious effort to use them every single day. So let me know what are some ways you use up your products fast. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.